welcome the participants in this opening of this agriculture cooperative uh, where in uh, knowledge and learnings and uh, innovations and trade expo is being uh, discussed and being held in this uh, venue and in behalf of our uh, office, the Cooperative Development Authority, and of course our Chairman Orlando Aravanera, uh, we'd like to thank this opportunity to express our deepest appreciation for all this, uh, uh, for the agriculture and farmers cooperatives who are here uh, present to this activity, as well as to the organizers, and of course uh, the, the most uh, important is the mga guests natin na darating later on. I hope uh, with this activity we will be able to learn a lot of things today in order to really maximize our potential as a cooperative. I would like to thank uh, to, to the organizers for inviting us in these activities and I, I bid you a hearty welcome to the Agri Co-op to our participants. Thank you very much. We hope, and I hope, that having gone through some of this data, we'd, we'd, we'd be in a better position to determine how well we can move forward. So please stay on until day four, uh, and it's all for the sake of our sector. And it's all, as I said, just to reiterate, all geared towards realizing food security and job generation. Maraming salamat po sa inyong pagkikinig. It is our mandate now to require all cooperatives to have a business continuity plan. That's part of our uh, mandate now. You know, remember when we conducted our forum like this? I will ask them, from the Civic and Clinic Co-op sector, raise your right hands, almost everybody, 98%. The Agri Co-op, raise your right hands, maybe one or two. Why? Because they cannot afford to send participants to places like this. Sino ba dito mga Agri Co-ops na mayroong 10 million, 15 million, 20 million assets makapunta dito at saka magbayan? Wala. Pero Agri-based Co-ops with a strong Civic and Clinic like Lama, Meron? Oh, three minutes. Oh, three cops now. <laughs> In your case, sa mga kooperatiba, meron din kayong mga undertake na mga policy initiatives ninyo to better the situation where we are now. And, and, and the contention of the department is, if we were to continue this, then we have to take the lead. interventions namin, capacity building at the national level. No? Yung members namin sa Philippines, yung pakisama at lately nag-apply yung Agrico PH at uh, tutulungan namin yung, yung members namin, yung national federations for uh, 
enhancing their capacities to provide services to their members. This particular subsector, the consumers, marketing, and producers, recorded a relatively high good, uh, recorded relatively higher uh, return on assets.